Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an apple crumble pie. Mm, yummy, I love apple pie. I had a request to make an apple crumb pie, so here we go, that's what we're gonna do. Really easy to do, if I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get baking. First, let's preheat the oven to 450 Fahrenheit or 232 Celsius. Next, in a small bowl, let's add 1 4th cup of flour, 1 3rd cup of white granulated sugar, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, 1 half teaspoon of nutmeg, and we'll add in some lemon zest. This is optional. Um, if you don't know what lemon zest is, this is just a little bit of the uh, the lemon peel that's been just kind of finely shredded up. They have special tools like called zesters that you can use. And then with a fork, let's just mix this up. This is gonna go on our apples. All right, now I have some Granny Smith apples here. You can use any apple really. The tart apples work really well. I peeled them and sliced them up into little slices. You need somewhere between six to eight apples, six large apples um, to eight medium apples. We'll take some lemon juice. This is about a tablespoon of lemon juice. We'll pour that on there. Give it a good toss. All right, and then let's pour that mixture, flour and sugar mixture on top. And let's give it a good mix. I just gave it a good toss so the apples get coated. You could use like a wooden spoon or something. Totally up to you. Also down below in the description box you'll find the list of the ingredients and all of their amounts. Set this aside. Next in a, another bowl let's make our crumble topping. So we'll start with one cup of all-purpose flour, one half cup of packed brown sugar, one half cup of white granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and then with a fork, let's mix that together. You can use a whisk too if you like. All right, perfect. And now I have one half cup of softened butter. That I wanna put in there. And now we wanna use our fork, or you could use like a, a pastry blender like this, or here's another pastry blender. A lot of times I'll just use the, the fork and we'll just kind of cut in, and fold in that dry ingredients with the butter. And then once it's all incorporated, it'll resemble some coarse crumbs. And when it's done, it'll look something like this. All right, this is gonna be the crumble for the top of the pie. Set that aside. And now I have a, a pre-made uh, pie crust here that I got at the store. You can do a homemade pie crust if you like. I already have a video where I make a pie crust up there in the eye. You can click on that. You can see that apple pie video with the homemade pie crust. And now we take our apples and instead of just pouring them all in there, we're gonna layer them carefully. And make sure your hands are clean since you'll be touching these apples. This part is a little tedious, but it helps to, it really helps to fill in the gaps appropriately. Sometimes if you just pour all the apples in there, there's too many big gaps. So this part can be just a tad tedious. And if you really want to, you can just dump them all in. All right, now that we've got our pie crust uh, full, you may have some apples left over. You can just eat those as they are or uh, make a little smaller pie with them. Now we wanna come in here with our crumble and go on top and cover our pie. 
you see how I mounded it up? A lot of times that'll, as it bakes, that mound will kind of settle in as the apples cook and the weight of the top kind of brings, brings them all down. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. Now this is ready to be baked. You notice I have it in a sheet pan. Just do that, just in case some of it bubbles over. You'll thank me later so you don't have to clean your oven. And now we will bake this to start at 450 Fahrenheit, 232 Celsius for about 15 minutes. And then we'll turn the heat down to 350 or 176 Celsius and bake it for another 40 to 50 minutes. And then we'll check it periodically after about the 30 minute mark and just see how brown the top is getting. If it's getting too brown, we'll put foil over the top. All right, we'll come back when it's baked. And then when the pie comes out of the oven, it'll look something like this. Nice and golden brown on the edges, golden brown on the top. I did wind up putting some foil about halfway through. It was getting a little too brown on top. And there you go. And now what we'll do is we will let this um, just cool at room temperature for about an hour before serving up a slice. All right, now it's time to serve up a piece. Awesome. You can serve it warm, you can serve it cold with a scoop of ice cream, whatever you like to do. All right. The apple crumb pie is done. Turned out fantastic. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm.